So what are we doing today, Lexi? And we are looking at some books. We're looking at some books. We're gonna look at specific books, but special books. Because on March 8th, it is International Women's Day. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. It's a day all about celebrating women and the amazing things that women have done. Today, we are gonna be sharing our favorite girl power books with you. This little trailblazer, this is a girl power primer uh, written by Joan Hubel, and we love this book. Yeah. It is a very cute book, it's a great little series. We love this book. It has some great illustrations. It has a cute little poem for each woman, and then it tells you what that woman is famous for, and it goes through all different kinds of women um, who've done different things, everything from uh, fashion designers to computer scientists to doctors to civil rights activists, all kinds of different people. It's really short, it's great for little kids, and it is definitely a little primer. So this is one of our favorite books. Yeah, Number that. one on our list so far, right? Yeah. Princess Leia. Princess Leia. So, this book is a little golden book. It is a Star Wars book. It is Star Wars I Am a Princess. Alexi has a love of Star Wars. You love Star Wars? Yeah. 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 Um, and what I love about this book is it goes through all the attributes that a princess has, and they're not always the attributes that we get yes. shown. She, she goes after, after Bagosh. Yeah, it talks about how princesses um, are have adventurous spirits, how they help, how they protect, how they stand up for what's right. Um, all those kinds of amazing attributes that we don't always think of when we think of princesses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so this is a really cool book. It is a little golden book and it is number two on our list today. And this one. This one. Number three. Number three. As Canadians, we love Robert Munch. Um, this one is La Couette de Stéphanie or Stephanie's Ponytail in English. We will put the link for both the French and English in the description below. Um, this is one of my favorite books growing up. Yeah. I love La Quête de Stéphanie, Stephanie's ponytail. It is about a little girl who decides that she wants a ponytail one day and everyone makes fun of her. And so every day she goes and does something different. Sometimes she wears a ponytail on the sides, sometimes she wears it on top of her head. And everyone makes fun of her on the first day. Yeah. And then the second day, everyone is just like her. And it's kind of about a girl who just does her own thing and isn't afraid if people do like it or don't but she's not afraid to, to kind of be a leader, eh? Yeah. It's a great book, we love this one. It's number three on our list today. Yeah. Number four, what are we gonna do? Ooh, a sandwich swap. But this book by Queen Rania is about two girls who come from different cultures um, and they discover one day that they are not the same. And at first it causes some problems because they have different sandwiches in their lunches. But these two girls figure out how to not only accept each other even though they're different, but how to help others in their class and in their school um, embrace each other's differences. Um, it's a really great book, it's super cute, and we love the sandwich swap. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great book about girls. Yeah. And we just love that. Yeah. Great girl protagonist book. Yeah. What one do you want to do next? Uh, this one. This one, She Persisted. This is the first book, um, there's a second one. But this first one, this is written by Chelsea Clinton and it is called She Persisted. She Persisted shows 13 different women who were told they couldn't do something, who were told what they were doing uh, was not something that they could do, that they could ever achieve or accomplish. They all the pictures? Yeah, the pictures of all the women. They were knocked down and they were told, um, you will never succeed, and they persisted. And they have accomplished amazing things, not just for women, but for the did world. Did you have those pictures on, on their wall? Yeah, it's got some pictures on the back of, of the different women. We love this book. It's a great book, right? Yeah. We love She Persisted by Chelsea Clinton. Let's see what book are we doing next? Uh, this one, Ada Twist Scientist. Ada Twist Scientist by Andrea Beatty. Uh, we love this book because it talks about a little girl who's a little bit different. Um, she's a little bit quirky and she's always asking questions um, because she's very, very curious. And so it's about how her family takes on helping her become a better scientist instead of just um, telling her how, not to do things. How, how many dogs of, of the pain? Yeah, she um, learns about all different things and her parents help her because she's a scientist and she asks a lot of questions and how that's not a bad thing. And I think this is a really great book if you have a little scientist 
like this one at home. So we love this book. What's the next book on our list? This one. Ooh, this is a great book. Five Minute Stories for Fearless Girls. This is a great book. This is by Sarah Howden. And so it has all these stories. They're very short stories. Um, again, five minute stories. And it's about women who have done all kinds of incredible things um, in the world. Things that people never thought would be possible. So they have all kinds of awesome women in here from yeah. some of the first black ballerinas yeah. to the lady who invented chocolate chip cookies to authors like J.K. Rollins, um, to different scientists, politicians. Now she's playing some, with some Lego. There's a girl's playing with Lego. Tanya Tagak? Yeah. Yeah, you love when we learned about Tanya Tagak, right? Yeah. Yeah, she was, she's an Inuit throat singer. Yeah. Why she, why she has it in throat singer? That's what she does. It's a, remember we were learning about this and how yeah. she introduced kind of throat singing to like the rest of the world? Yeah. Yeah. And so she's one of our favorite women that we've learned about recently. So if you have a, a woman that inspires you, Leave the name, her name in the comments below because we would love to learn about some other inspiring women in the world. And Tanya Figak is one of them and we love these stories in this five minute stories for fearless girls. Yeah. What book is next? This one. Ooh, this is a good one. So this is very similar to the five minute stories, um, but it's for slightly older. So we haven't read too many of these with Alexi um, because she's just not kind of old enough yet because they're a little bit more in detail. Um, but this book is Goodnight Stories for Rebel, Rebel Girls. Um, this is a phenomenal book. It's the same idea. Every page in here is a different woman, different portrait, and it's talking about um, what they've done and has everything from politicians to artists. Um, it's a little bit older than the five minute stories, so maybe when she's like five or six, this would be a better choice for her. But for like three to seven, this is a great start. But this one has um, 100 women and every page is one woman's story. So that's kind of cool. And this book here is, again, very similar to the Rebel Girls book and the five minute stories. This is called Women in Science by Rachel Inox Katoski. Yeah, but my- And it's all the, science, the, science women. That one, the kind of number that one did. This one was number eight, this one is number nine. Nine. But this is all about women who work in various fields, uh, scientific fields. So medical researchers, paleontologists, um, biologists, scientists. If they've done sciencey things in the world and have changed the world, this is 50 women. Same kind of idea, they have a portrait and then like a little one page write up. Are you ready to get on to our favorite books? Yeah, those ones. These are our favorites. So we said we were gonna do 10 books. Yeah. That was our plan, to do 10. But we couldn't pick because this is actually one of our favorite book series. This is the Little People Big Dreams book series. It is written by Isabella Sanchez Maguera. They are basically each book is a biography. It's written for little kids. Um, they're done. They're beautiful drawings. And here's why I love them. It's a simple biography. It tells you kind of the big things that they did in their life. It's very simple for someone who like Alexi's age, who's almost four. So this is a great like beginning book about biographies. Then, at the back, they actually have a little bit more of an in-depth um, biography. So something maybe a little bit older with a little bit more detail than they do because the biography in the beginning is a little bit more like a story. This is more like a true biography. And then one of the reasons I absolutely adore this series is because if you're really interested in one of the women that you're reading about, at the, the very last page, they actually have a read more section. They have other books that you can find by other authors and different people with information about those women. Eh, Alexi? Yeah. Yeah, so that's super cool. They're all different women um, from, you know, fashion designers like Coco Chanel. We have Amelia Earhart. We have artists like Frida Kahlo. We have scientists like Ada Lovelace. Authors like Jane Austen. We have Rosa Parks somewhere. Mother Teresa. All different kinds of amazing women. And we just absolutely love this series, so much so that we're gonna have a contest. Should we give some people these books, Lexi? Yeah. That's right. So we are doing a contest in honor of International Women's Day, which is on March 8th. And we are gonna be giving away um, a prize pack that includes six of these Little People Big Dream books. Um, all amazing women in, uh, I think in the arts and science is the prize pack that we're giving away. 
So all you have to do to be entered into our contest is you have to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and make a comment below and you'll be automatically entered to win a prize pack of six books. If you want to get some bonus entries, you can share a post on Facebook and we'll be doing some draws from that bonus entry all next week where we'll be giving away some books and they won't be the ones that we're giving away in our prize pack. So it'll be different ones and you can actually win both one of those and be entered for the prize pack. And happy International Women's Day. Ready to say goodbye? Bye bye. Bye everyone. <laughs> if you like what you saw, Please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to get notifications when we upload our latest videos. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to leave us a comment. We'll see you next week for more activities, adventures, and lifelong learning. Bye!